What's better than this? Playing co-op games with your pals. The thrill of getting my two very legitimate friends together to play a game really strengthens our bonds of friendship. Some of the best memories I've had are playing the original Left 4 Dead series. Like the time I was punched up a building by a tank. That was in 2008, a time of MySpace secret shows, the best episode of Lost, and one of these two movies ruining my entire life. Guess which one? Valve released Left 4 Dead 2 a year later, which puts them at their strict two games per series limit. But Left 3 Dead's absence didn't stop countless others from attempting to fill the bill-sized hole in our hearts. This year alone, we've seen four announcements for games that clearly mimic the Left 4 Dead vibe. But can they stack up to the original? I ain't seen anything like this before. Can these games replicate the special enemies, dynamic audio, and the vengeful AI director that made a tank punch me off a building? Left 4 Dead is more than a horde shooter. A big part of that is its enemies, specifically the special infected. I'm kind of really sad that the smoker never got the vape. It would have been dank clouds all over levels, you know, anyway. The game rewards players who work together as a team. So naturally, the special infected are there to make life shitty for you in a fun way. By separating you from the rest of your group, these enemies are constantly keeping you on your toes. When you shoot a boomer, for example, it releases zombie bile on everyone nearby like Last Call at SantaCon. That attracts the horde of zombies, at which point the group will naturally attempt to assist their vomit-covered friends. That's some forced teamwork, Santa Claus. Similar games have tried to replicate these special enemy types. The Gutter Runner in Vermintide 2 can pin players down and effectively take them out of battle, making them a lot like the Hunter in Left 4 Dead 2. Except, you know, a rat. In Vermintide 2, the comforting sounds of Ratmen are inescapable, which highlights another aspect of Left 4 Dead that often imitated but rarely duplicated, the audio. Good audio design is important in games like this because it builds tension, but it's also a critical way that players receive information. The last thing you want is a bunch of stuff clogging up your UI, so Left 4 Dead popularize a system where characters passively call out items or warn others of dangers nearby. It it's why you see so many custom voice cues in Left 4 Dead alike, Deep Rock Galactic. As players explore procedurally generated caves with their dwarven miners, the game automatically calls out enemies or objectives with context-aware voice lines. For example, expressing the player's frustration at Molly's pathfinding. I want to punch whoever designed this thing. Left 4 Dead also has the equivalent of a custom mixtape, a dynamic soundtrack that adapts to whatever's happening at the moment. We wanted the music in Left 4 Dead to heighten the key emotional elements that should be inherent in a horror game. Harsh piano strings probably mean something terrible is about to happen, like getting punched off a building by a tank. This on-the-fly orchestration is all handled by the game's audio director, an AI system specifically designed to pick out the best music at the best moment. But it's not the only AI in the game. The director is probably the biggest innovation in Left 4 Dead. It controls the spawning of the zombie horde along with special infected, strategically placing item drops and stronger weapons so you're not hopeless, but also not too well armed. A character yelling pills here is a quiet thank you to the director for saving your run. But that's not how I felt when I played Vermintide 2, where I legit thought the game hated me. Spawning too many of a specific rat man to ruin my time was the major reason for me bouncing off the game. But in Left 4 Dead, every run of dead air manages to feel exciting without feeling overwhelming. That's because the AI director is taking in a ton of data about your skill level, your location, and your stress level. The stress level is how well you and your team are working through the level. Do really well, and the game will throw more enemies at you. If your team is constantly low on health, it will give you more health packs to survive. First aid kit here. It adapts to you, not the other way around. Even after 13 years, no other game has managed to replicate that feeling as much as Left 4 Dead. But maybe one of these games will. Left for Alien, Siege for Goo, Left 40k Dead, and Back for Blood. Many of Rainbow Six's enemies have clearly taken notes from the tank and the boomer. The Anna Cruz's trailer shoves the cheeky dialogue right in your face. 
this a disco? In a way that feels somewhat familiar. And Back for Blood is made by the same developers as Left 4 Dead and looks to have a similar AI system. Time will tell if any of these Left 4 Dead likes will capture the magic of the original. Until then, I'll be playing Shrek for Dead. If you hear All-Star, run. Donkey!